So some of you may have seen um, Instagram and Facebook posts that I put up this morning um, saying about relaunching um, an old brand. Um, as soon as I put it up, I did actually change the wording afterwards. Somebody messaged me and said, oh no, are you and Andy not working together anymore? What's happening to the gym? The gym is fine. The gym is awesome. It's still here. It's closed at the moment because of the COVID situation, but it is, um, it is absolutely fine and we're looking really forward to open up the doors again um, to our members when we can do. Um, however, it was actually Andy that gave me this idea um, and I think he will be doing something similar, but I'm not sure um, as to uh, what he's doing. But he messaged me yesterday and said that um, we, so we need to be a bit more individual, I think, with our coaching because we've, we seem to have got a lot, bit lost in the gym. Um, and I saw something else on Facebook at the same time that made it really click. And the, the thing with it is, three years ago, we started the process of um, opening Champion Strength and Conditioning. And then you kind of get lost in the business and the, like the running of it, and the financial worries and everything else. And it's really easy to lose yourself um, in a lot of ways, but professionally as a, as a coach, um, it's, it's not like you don't still do your job, because of course you do, but um, it's that individuality that we, that can get a little bit muffled, I think, when you are your business, because of course the business is us, um, because it's a small business and that's what, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same without us. But we are also ourselves as well as that. And I think I think that's what um, what he meant, and what um, we I think would like to try and get across. Um, so yeah, I used to have a brand called Inspire Strength, and um, I actually stopped using it. Um, so shortly after, um, if, for, for those that don't know, I used to run another gym up in Northampton. I left there. Um, after opening it up uh, five years later, I left. And um, if anyone has a story, they know the story, but if not, I'm not gonna even gonna go into it. But I had a gym up in Northampton, it's still doing very well, it's run by somebody else now. Um, and then when I left, I went off on a freelance kind of PT thing. I was working in a few different places. Um, and my, my brand was Inspire Strength. Um, and I met Andy at that point, and then we started talking about getting Champion Strength Conditioning going and it got so lost and we all I did was really focus on that. Um, and also, and this is, this is a really silly thing, but I think it's kind of relevant, um, that it was somebody that, somebody made a comment about the brand and it was a silly passing comment and it didn't actually mean anything, but they kind of said it was a bit rubbish and they said it without knowing me really and knowing what that brand Inspire Strength meant to me. Um, the strap line is, um, be strong, you never know who you're inspiring. And after winning um, Northampton's Most Inspirational Woman back in 2015, um, and a few other things, a few talks that I'd done in schools and at different events, the name actually really fitted, I thought. But this person said this thing to me, and through my own lack of confidence, it, it made me not confident in the brand. But I don't think it was that I wasn't confident in the brand, it's just I wasn't confident in myself. Um, and now things are a little bit different. Things, you know, we, we have the gym which is successful. It's doing it's doing okay. Hopefully, this this situation doesn't go on too for too long. But um, you know, we've we've built that, and I think now is a time when we can actually refocus on ourselves, especially right now when we're not focusing on the gym so much um, because there's not a lot to do. Um, <laughs> there's only a certain amount that we can do. Uh, so it's not taking them up as much as our time and it is a time when we can reflect a little bit on who we are as coaches and who we are as people and I think that that is um, something that yeah, is quite necessary. So um, this is why my name has changed on Instagram and what the post was about this morning. There will be some rebranding things going on, you'll see the new logo which actually Andy designed for me um, because I'm rubbish at that kind of thing. Um, and I'll be making web pages for us within the Champion Strength and Conditioning website um, to 
um, promote ourselves as us. So Champion Strength and Conditioning is absolutely fine and we are very much looking forward to getting back running when we can do. But until then, um, I hope that you like my new brand and well, my relaunch of my brand and um, I'll be going a bit more in depth about um, the ethos and what it actually means to me um, as the weeks go on.